Lando Norris had some technical gremlins as the session started. And 20 minutes into FP1, the red flags were out as the McLaren driver pulled over. I'm on fire, I need to stop. If, you, if you're on fire and need to stop, do it. Isolating wildly as he deployed DRS on the pit straight. Valtteri Bottas put a wheel in the gravel at turn four and his former Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton went deep at turn one. The seven-time champion taking it to the runoff. Kevin Magnussen going very wide at the same corner. Sergio Perez went deep at turn four and had to take to the gravel. Uh, yeah, this, he's got some front suspension damage as well as you can see. So it's actually quite a slap sideways, isn't it? So he had to turn into a... As he rear ends into the barriers at turn 10. Yeah, uh, it's, it's gone on the way into the corner. It's feel much, did it, on board, but uh, it's folded the rear wing up. OK. Yep. It's a red flag, red flag. And there's the contact in the middle of the pack. And we're going to see it from Lewis Hamilton's perspective. No, nothing Lewis could do about that one. Heading off into the gravel. Yeah, that one hit me there. You know, that looks like six of one, half a dozen of another. Albon is entitled to some space up the inside. Seb gave him some space, to yeah. be fair. But pulling clear of Charles Leclerc. On the inside goes George Russell and Sergio Perez. And they touch. And Perez is spun round and off into the gravel. And you can see that coming. Great. George Russell has got a five second penalty for causing that collision. Nothing I could do. He just turned into me. And a five second penalty for Pierre Gasly for causing that collision with Sebastian Vettel. He has to give up the corner. I had the nose ahead. What is wrong with these people? A power unit problem. And this is the moment that Carlos Sainz hopes of another podium in Formula One went with Ferrari's fourth mechanical failure 